This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hey, this is Ben from Heart Internet, and in this video tutorial, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to customize the look and feel of a host pay template. I'll show you how to install a new theme and walk you through the process of changing elements such as link colors, swapping in your logo, changing background colors to elements both with a solid color and with a gradient, and also creating your new pages. I'll give an overview of some of the key template pages that control the majority of your template styling, which should give you a better understanding of how everything links together to create a new theme. Okay, so firstly, we'll need to bring up the customized host pay page. You can find this using our super fast, fancy, quick find tool. Just type in customize. And it's the first link, which is customized end user CP. Or you can use a more traditional route and use the icons. Firstly, click on the reseller control center, like so. Then click on the host pay icon, just here. And then lastly, click on the customize end user control panel icon. Right, so this page contains a list of the theme templates that are available to install on HostPay. All templates are highly customizable and all W3C standards compliant. Now for those of you who have been with Heart Internet for a while now and familiar with our original themes, we also have these under the classic section. If you scroll down, they're just listed there. It's worth noting that we do add new templates to the library throughout the year to ensure our customers are always sport for choice. You can keep updated on all the new additions plus all our company news by following us on either our blog, which is heartinternet.co.uk forward slash blog, or via Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash heartinternet. So in this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to customize the default host bay template. This is taken from the clean set here in blue. If I navigate to my test installation, you'll notice the default theme is installed. There we go, just a nice, clean, easy design. Some people want to change the template, and we do have quite a few styles, as you can see. And to do so, it really only takes a matter of clicks. For example, if I click this theme here, click Generate Sample Pages. Now this will create pre-configured example template pages using this chosen theme styling. This will help you create any custom pages as the look and feel and code is already in place. You simply need to add your own content and upload. I'll click Save Changes, just to show you how easy it is. Navigate to my installation. And if I refresh the page, there we are. It was that simple. What I'll do now is revert the template back to the default installation, and then we can get started in customizing your host pay template. Now you have complete control over the look and feel of your host pay template as we give access to all the necessary files via FTP or via your web browser. Now how you edit your files is really down to your preference. You can connect via FTP and download your files so you have a local copy stored or you can edit them directly within the browser. And if I just scroll down, I'll show you where you can do this just here. All the template files are listed. And don't worry if you make a mistake, because you can hit the restore button just here, and it will revert the file back to its original state. Now my preferred method is to download the entire host pay folder, so I have a local copy and work with the files that way. Now when customizing my template, I find it much easier to download the contents and work locally, as you can go back and undo single changes within your HTML editor, Plus, I can keep an exact copy of the host pay installation, including all the images and CSS. So in case something does accidentally get removed, I can just simply re-upload it. So in this tutorial, I'll be working locally, and I'll start by opening my FTP program. Now, please make sure you've gone into your Extend Control Panel and unlocked access to FTP first, otherwise you'll have problems connecting. I'll simply highlight all the files, then drag them across into a local folder. Now once you've downloaded your files, you're ready to start customizing. Now before I start, I just want to let you know I'm using Dreamweaver to edit my HTML and CSS and Fireworks to handle the graphics. Now these are from the Adobe Creative Suite. But of course you can use any alternatives to these. Essentially, you're gonna need a standard HTML slash CSS editor 
and a graphics package like Photoshop, the GIMP or PaintShop Pro. Now to make life really, really easy on yourself, I would highly recommend downloading Firebug for Firefox as it's gonna save you so much time finding out what CSS styles have been applied to what elements. And if you haven't got Firebug yet, it only takes a couple of seconds to install. Just do a search for Firebug or Firebug, Firefox, things like that, and click on the top result. Click on the Add to Firefox button, restart your browser, and then you're ready to start using it. If I close this down, go back to my template, and I'll give you an example of how effective Firebug can be. Now, if you pop up on Firebug, it will be in the bottom of your Firefox browser. Click on the Inspect icon. Now, any element you hover over, you'll be able to see what CSS styles are applied. And these are always in the bottom right here. So if I want to change this navigation bar here, in my style sheet, I need to look for the nav ID, which you can see in the bottom right. Or if I want to change this box, you'll see it's called top box. It's really that simple. Okay, so let's start customizing the design. If I open up my graphics package Fireworks, you'll see I've created a new color scheme that I'm going to apply to the template and also my company logo. Now the first step, I'll show you how to swap in your company logo. Now in order to do this, you're going to need to know a few things. Number one is where to save the file. Number two, what dimensions should the image be? And number three, what format should the image be in? Now thankfully, all these questions can be answered all at once by viewing the properties of the existing logo. If you go back to your browser, right click on the image and click properties, this will reveal everything you need to know. Okay, so as you can see here, it's telling us the location of this file is in the theme-images folder. So that's where you'll need to save yours. The dimensions are 165 pixels width by 27 pixels height. So you'd want to create your image fairly similar to these, I would say around 30 pixels maximum, just to be safe. Now as you can see here, the name and format of the existing logo is logo.gif. Now to do a straight swap and keep things nice and easy, you simply save your file as logo.gif also. If your logo would suit a different format, you need to change the image path within your header.rhtml file, and that's within the templates folder, plus within each individual generated sample page, e.g. Um, privacy.htm or order underscore now.htm. Okay, so if we go back to your graphics package, what we've learned is we're going to need to make our image 30 pixels high by its proportional width. So I'll do that now. I'll just copy the logo into a new canvas and let's resize it. Canvas, image size, 30 pixels. There we go. Now I'm gonna export it as logo.gif. Two, five, six, and diva. Now as the properties window said, I'm gonna save it in the theme hyphen images folder logo.gif and overwrite the existing one. Okay, so now we have the logo exported. All we simply have to do now is upload it to our web server. Now to do this, open up your FTP program, navigate to the theme images folder and your local folder, open up the same directory and simply upload your logo.gif into the theme hyphen images folder. It may prompt you to overwrite, that's fine. Okay, so open up your browser. Close that down. And simply refresh to see your changes. There you are. Your logo is being replaced on your host page template. It's that simple. Okay, so that concludes part one of the how to customize host page video demonstration. Thanks very much for watching and please be sure to check out part two to continue this tutorial.